All right, hey everybody, this will be a review of the Diecast Masters 336. This is a new release for 2019. And anyway, I will be getting into the review of this. So back there's the box, you can see. There's the engine specs if you want to pause the video and look at it. I know that seems to be kind of a thing for people. I'll zoom in a little bit. Anyway, my camera's kind of having some issues with lighting and focus. Anyway, so, and then the back side, or the picture that everybody else wants to see of the metal tin, is it loading a uh, 735C? 730C. So, getting into the review of the model, I will start off with the functionality of the model. So, your stick goes out that far, which is phenomenal. I'll get this. 10 out of the way from a previous review. Your bucket curls, that's as far as it's curled out, obviously, and then it curls in that far, which is good. And then your boom curls the stick in that far, which is good. Pretty much darn near hits the tracks. It will hit the tracks with the bucket. Your digging depth, as far as reach, is there, it's decent, could have been better. As you can see, there's still cylinders exposed, but there has been worse, so. And then, oh, and then it raises up to a 90 degree angle, which every excavator really should. And then it spins 360, and mine's really, really loose. I mean, you barely, as you can see, you barely, move it and it spins very easily. So there's probably a screw in there that I could tighten if, it bought, if I wanted it tighter, but I'll just leave it as is. Then it has tracks that move relatively smoothly and chain ten or uh, track tensioners as well. So it has become a standard for any metal tracked machine like dozers and excavators. So getting into the details, we will start off with the bucket. So there's your bucket. It's a seven tooth bucket. This is a really big bucket for this machine. Usually you'd get a five tooth bucket like with the 330Ds and Es. However, what I think is, is, is I think it's the same bucket from the 349F that has come out, but I like the bucket. I like that it's a big bucket. I like that it has as many teeth and it just makes this machine seem like a bigger machine. No quick coupler. It's just uh, pinned on there. You could take the bucket off if you choose, and I'm sure in the future there'll be attachments made for this thing. Um, you have, uh, this would be, I guess, a cat emblem that would be, it's, it's just the square that's molded into the casting. So getting up here, you can see you've got a warning graphic on the stick. And there is your cylinders, they're plastic. Coming up to the top, you have your hydraulic lines, they're rubber. They're just like the 349, they're not solid, they flex and bow down and stuff, so. Um, it's fine if it bothered you that much, I guess you could glue them or mount them somehow to the boom or stick, so. Getting up to the top, you have your cat. Um, Power edge decal. You have piping up here that's painted just like on the 349 boom lights and some other stuff. Rubber hydraulic lines and casted in hydraulic lines go into the back of the boom. Your cylinders that run down for the boom. Just normal black plastic. Everything on the paint and everything on this model looks great. So Running down to the side of the machine, on the inside, if I can get this puppy to kind of focus. There we go. You can see on the on the arm it's of the joystick, it says cat on there and it's painted yellow. And the inside of the cab is painted gray and black. And I, I believe it has cat. I, I don't know if you can see it back there, but it has cat written on the seat as well. So the cat, the the uh, cabs are because have come a long way since like the Norscott days and stuff. Diecast Masters is really making an effort to make the cabs look good. 
and you have a sunroof which pops off and you can put the operator in there if you so choose to. Um, getting to the engine housing, you have your 336 logo and then you have your vents with decals, they are not etched, etched through or in or anything, they're just, they're just modulated with a decal. Your tracks, which is really, really hard to see with this lighting, but you do see that they have decals there. The rollers are casted into the casting. They do believe roll on top. You have your sprocket, which looks good, and your idler there. Get into the back of the model. There's your counterweight. You have your two reflectors in your cat logo, and then there you have your exhaust. And on top, you have all sorts of bolts, stuff for the engine. No opening compartments or anything like that, but that's okay with me. I don't display my models that do have opening compartments with the compartments open. open. So, 336 written on this side, more simulated pan, um, vents with decaling. You have a little decal there, which looks good. This is black, which on the 323s and 320s, you, that's not there, so that looks kind of cool. These handrails here are metal. You do have, let's see here, I guess I could just do it like this. You do have anti-slip on all your walkways here and on your steps, so that's good. Your stairs are actually etched through, which is great. Your tracks are triple grouser. Um, your mirror there is plastic, but it is painted on, and then there is your swing motor and hydraulic lines, which looks good. And then there's your bucket again. <clears throat> there's the underside, it has wear plating, and the seven teeth. The teeth look great on this model. So, um, the underside is very, very plain. So, but like I said in previous model reviews, I do not display this model upside down. So now I'm just going to be concluding what I think of this model. So final thoughts on this model. This and the two, the two D6s were the new releases from Diecast Masters that I was very excited about. This model is executed very well. It's very detailed. Um, it looks great. I'm a big fan of the new 3.3. Well, just the new tier 4 final um, design. I think, in my opinion, they look better than the ENF machines. I really like the new body on these. They're kind of starting to slim down, kind of like the season D's did. So, um, great model. The only flaw I can think of with this model is that you do not have as deep of a digging depth, but I don't display my model like that, so it's not a huge downfall. Other than that, I really can't think of anything with this model. It is a great piece, and I'm glad to have it in my collection. Um, this looks really good with the 323 and 320s, as well as, I think, with the 349F, because this is a pretty decent-sized machine, especially with that big-ass bucket, bucket that it has on there. So, and I know I realize I just cussed, but anyway... So that will conclude the model review of this machine. Definitely a must have when it becomes available in the States. And so anyway, I'll talk to you later. Have a good day, bye bye.